welcome back to my channel um real quick i just um see like a lot of youtube videos where people uh try different foods and you know let you guys see that so that you can see how well we can chew certain things uh with the denture or dentures and i bought some of this at my grocery store food city earlier i actually bought two things um macar toasted macarons which i really like they're like the little soft coconut pieces um i don't have them with me but then it was two for five and i also got some peanut brittle and i see a lot of people do specifically peanut brittle because it is hard um and as you guys know i have the top but then i do not have a lot of molars on the bottom because i am waiting to get a partial but i do have one that i use to chew mostly everything with but i still thought that i would um do the challenge and show you guys that even though I don't have a lot of molars, um, just one really uh, up here, that I can still chew peanut brittle. And it is really hard. Um, I've already like felt, you know, looked at it and felt it to kind of see how hard it is. Um, this is the brand Crown, which I don't ever really buy peanut brittle a lot, so I don't know um, if it's like popular or not. Um, Homestyle candy, made in Georgia. Um, yeah, so peanut brittle, and I'm just going to take a piece, and I don't know if you have to like bite into it in the front because I don't have adhesive in it. I don't know if I can do that. I did try a piece though, chewing it with my back teeth, and it was okay. So, I'll try to bite into it. I don't know if I can, guys. I haven't tried this yet. Because so I do sometimes have issues when I don't have adhesive in where I haven't had that um, reline that's due. So, sometimes I can't um, bite into stuff that's really hard. I just have to chew in the back. So, we'll see. Oh, I did it. But then I do have to chew on this side because I don't have back molars. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is really hard. I get why people are scared to try it. Um, and like things like peanuts, I didn't eat for months and months. Um, just like a peanut M&M, I was too scared to eat it because when you first get the denture... I don't know if I've talked about this or not, but, um, so like with normal teeth, it just feels natural to chew or whatever. But I do remember when I first got the top denture, it could have been because, you know, I had the fresh extraction areas. I don't know what, but whenever I would chew some things, I just, I wouldn't chew anything hard because it wasn't really that it hurt. To bite down and chew it was just so new and weird to like have that different uh sensation than because like something's going up against your gums it's not really like your teeth that are there i don't really know how to explain it but in the beginning it was a little bit different and you kind of have to adjust to learning to chew and um the feeling of it and then after a while you know it just becomes uh, natural and you don't really pay attention to it or realize it anymore because I don't but I do re recall in the beginning that I did kind of just watch what I would chew because I knew it was going to feel weird or kind of hurt but not really hurt you know you just think it's going to hurt in your mind <clears throat> so I did want to bring that up but um, I definitely can chew this but for me I still a lot of times break stuff off and put it in the back where I can chew with that molar just because where these are loose right now it is a little bit harder to do it without adhesive I'm talking away and so I'm not chewing I really can't wait to get the partial because I haven't chewed on this side over here I think it was like 2013 or 14 when I had these back two out so I will be excited to chew on a different side for once.
it looks like crystallized or something on this one side of it. <clears throat> and I still kind of do it slow because where that is the only molar that I have that I can really chew with. I'm always scared to hurt it. So, but at least I can still eat hard stuff like that. I've also ate a candy apple. Um, but what I would do was, instead of biting it, because you know the candy apples are pretty hard. And an apple's kind of hard anyways, but um, I would just cut the candy apple into pieces, like off of the stick and then into pieces, and then chew it in the back. So that's possible as well. Let's see, I'm at, I had mine done in March. So April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Around the 21st will be nine months for me. So I really need to get my appointment made um, for the reline or whatever that's due and hopefully get what I already paid for since I missed it but hopefully they'll still do both of those and also see when they're gonna start uh, the process for the permanent dentures because I should get that around the 12 month mark so hopefully we'll start doing that soon um I was wondering I'll ask you guys and see what you think but I told you guys that I'm gonna start the process to get that partial in the bottom should I wait until I have my top permanents? Because what if they totally are different, like as far as shape and looks, and then Russell Klein looks at these temporary ones and makes my bottom partial to kind of match those, and then I get something totally different in a few months. I was, I was thinking about that today. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I know he does like want you to take a picture if you already have some type of denture and then also take a picture of your mouth gums or whatever. So I'm wondering if that is the case that he does kind of base it off of one or the other. Maybe I should wait until I get my permanent top before I go into the process of getting the bottom partial. Let me know what you guys think um, in the comment section because um, I really really need that and I can't afford to get one and then, you know, have to go back and get one in a couple of months when I get the permanents, if I would have to. I don't know. You guys let me know if that's going to make a big difference or not. But I just wanted to show you guys that it is possible to eat peanut brittle at some point. I don't know when in your journey, but at some point you will get adjusted and be able to do certain things um, that you didn't think you'd ever be able to do again. Um, just hang in there, keep your head up. Um, I know one girl I watch uh, her videos, she recently started her journey and she just had a cancellation and got to go in for her E-Day today unexpected. So I want to say <clears throat> congratulations and um, just relax. I know that it's a lot, so I hope that you get to feeling better soon and can start your journey on getting your new perfect smile and just hang in there um, and then for anybody else that's getting ready to have their e-day uh, please keep in mind that you know it's a journey most of us say it's a journey or a process you know it is a journey and it does take time to adjust and you know heal and you know all those things so um, you might have your e-day you might get your temporary denture and it, most likely it won't be perfect but at some point in your journey most likely you know i'm not going to say 100 percent because you never know everybody's case but most likely everyone is going to be happy in the end at some point and um, get what they want hopefully so just hang in there guys and um, if you have any questions for me about anything please email me or comment. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you like these 
video like challenge food challenge things let me know something that you want to see me try so that you can know that it's possible and also um, let me know if you have an opinion on uh, the partial right now with the temp top or wait till I get the permanent top let me know if you have an opinion on that as well and please don't pay attention to my nails I need to fill them in one's broke looks awful but anyways um, I will talk to you guys soon. Please don't forget to comment and let me know. Also, let me know if you have any food challenges and like and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon.